Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How would you write T-SQL query or store procedure with single value parameter in SSRS reporter? By asking this question, they want to understand few things about you. If you have experience writing T-SQL queries with the single value parameters, or you can write the store procedure with single value parameters. So that's very important. I would recommend providing examples in your answer. So let's go to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and write our first query. Here we have total sale table. Let me select everything from this table. Select asterisk from DBO total sale. And now we would like to create single value parameter for column called region. So let's say we, here we are going to add where clause and say region column is equal to your parameter name. So let's call this one at the rate uh, parameter region. Now you see that uh, to create a single value parameter, we need two things here. We need equal sign and then we have to provide the name of the parameter. So this is column name. This, this doesn't really matter. You can have a region is equal to other rate region. So you can use the same or you can have a different name for your parameter. Let's take this query and go to the bids and paste the query there. So I have already created the data source here. Add data set. Now this is going to be embedded. Paste your query here. And this is it. Now if we preview our report, we'll see a single value parameter called parameter region. Now let's go ahead and if we would like to create two single value parameters in data set in this report, how we would do that. As you can see that I have country, state and other columns as well. Let's say we would like to say country as a parameter as well, but this is going to be single value. So go back to the query here and we will add and country column is equal to at the rate country. You see that I'm not using other name such as a parameter or anything with this one. I'm using exactly the same name of what we have here for the column and the parameter. So that's going to work just fine. Hit OK. And now if we preview our report, we'll see two parameters. The values for these parameters can be provided from query or you can set some default values or provide the static values from here. So you can go to parameter properties and always set the available values by, by providing static values here. And uh, if you would like, you can get the values from the query. If your values for the parameter is are changing, uh, it's a good idea to use uh, get values from the query. Now let's go back here and uh, discuss the next part. Now we know that how to create uh, the T-SQL query with the single value parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's uh, create a store procedure from here. Create procedure and procedure name let's call this one sp total sale and uh, let's declare a parameter so input parameter will be let's say we call it region and watch our 100 now we say as begin and then finally we'll say end as you said see, see that i'm using input parameter region so i have to change this part to the at the rate region and uh, that's it. Now our store procedure is created. Uh, we can use this store procedure in our report. Uh, let's go back to data set. Uh, and here we can change store procedure. And uh, you can see the store procedure in the drop down. And uh, hit on the fields. It will get all the fields for us. Uh, and hit OK. Now let's preview the report. And you see that region is created. These are the old parameters which we created in the report before. So if you create the parameters before in report, you have to delete them manually. So let's delete them. Sorry. So you are learning multiple things. And this is how you are going to explain exactly the thing in your interview. So now we go to the preview and we will see only region. And this is a comment from the store procedure. Now, if I would like to add two parameters such as region and country and a single value, how I can do that? So let's go ahead and add a new input parameter called region, sorry, country. 
and this is going to be watcher 100 as well and now we can use in the where class and country equal to at the rate country remember we have to use equals equal sign in the parameter as it is single value parameter also the name doesn't really matter as long as if you would like to have call something different here you can call it a parameter country or whatever you like you can have it so the column name doesn't really matter uh, to uh, equal to the parameter name you can have different uh, name for uh, column name and parameter so let's go ahead and alter this store procedure now we are going to alter execute now we are good here let's go back and see our data set go back to data set and refresh fields hit okay now we come back and preview and we can see that we have two parameters one is called region and the other one is called country again the values for these parameters can come uh, from the query or you can provide the static values by going to the parameter properties and the available values you can specify and add the static values or you can use the get to values from the query one good thing always tell in the interview it's good idea to get the values from the query as if you have to make changes in the value add a new value or remove a value for the parameter uh, list uh, you can just add or remove in the table and you do not have to make a change in the report uh, if you have provided the static values uh, what you have to do every time you have to open a report and then make a change add or delete uh, and then uh, finally you have to save the report and uh, redeploy that's a long process so you have to create a ticket and uh, that takes some time or time for the dbs to redeploy your reports uh, so if you are making changes uh, in the table adding a new value for a parameter is easy you can create the dmls and give to the dba and they will run those dmls to add the values or remove the values for your parameter and you do not have to do anything with the, the report change so thanks very much and good luck with your interview